evening. Uh, tonight I'd like to speak to you a little bit about how we spend the time that God gives us in a week and share a few statistics with you. And it's, uh, we all know we have 168 hours in each week. And according to CNN, a study said work takes up 40 of those hours, sleep takes 49 hours, personal care takes about three hours a day, and 21 hours a week. And after we figure all that up, it still leaves 58 hours for other activities. According to another study by CNN, 50 of those 58 hours, the average American spends with some kind of screen time, online, on the phone, computers, whatever. So that really don't leave much more time, does it? <laughs> so <clears throat> that's supposed just leaves like eight hours a week. And for Christians, four of those other eight hours that we do everything CNN says, four of the other eight hours we spend here at church. We have our Sunday school, then we go in for the AM service, PM service on Sunday, we come back on Wednesday nights. And we think some people, you know, that's enough. But we have other functions that we can go to, you know, other than just to come to church at the appointed times, you know. And so, um, like, is this really enough? Or do we need to devote more time to God? You know, of course we do, because we should devote our entire life to God, not just part little times. So I know that we have to live our own life, but we should also strive to live that life in the way God would have us to. And, you know, for it seems like for some people, even the four hours is hard for them to do. You know, we have some people that'll, they'll be here on Sunday morning, you never see them again until next Sunday morning, which I'm, I'm not judging anybody, but it's just the truth. You know, we have uh, many other opportunities to do church activities other than just the regular service. Like I said, you know, we have our gospel meetings. The surrounding congregations have gospel meetings that we can go to. And we have, you know, youth devotionals, uh, adult devotionals. We always hear good messages or potluck meals. And it would be great to see more people getting involved in these type of things, coming out to the potlucks, supporting the other congregations, supporting our own congregation during the gospel meetings. And, and we have so a verse in the Bible that helps us to deal with this. It's Hebrews 10, 25, tells us, not forsaking the assembling ourselves together as a manner of some is, but exhorting one another and so much more as you see the day approaching. So we all need to try to attend any function we can. I understand that some people, you know, we have to work during that time or something, but if you think about it, you just sitting at home, nothing to do, watching TV. Wouldn't it be better to be out hearing God's word preached or participating in church functions? I mean, the more, the more we can do, the better example will be to those around us. And so, like I'm saying here, we need to all try to attend just all functions we can. So as Christians, we should be eager to get out and go to church and to study with other people and you know, worship and glorify God. And always be eager to study either on our own or with someone. Just open up the Bible and start reading. And I know that that's a hard part for some of us, myself included. I'm guilty of it. But, you know, we each have to try. And no matter how much we think we know about the Bible, I've done this, I've done it myself. And you read a passage and you think you really understand it and you've got it all down. Go back and read it again later, and I guarantee you're going to find something there that you didn't see before. Because no matter how much we think we know, there's always something else in God's Word that we need to learn. It's, there's always another message there that we can may not have seen before. I understand we all have activities outside of church that we like. You know, for me, I like fishing, but I'm not going to put down put church down to go fishing. That would just be wrong. You know, and some of us do sporting events, and some just like to get out and travel. But you know, I love to travel too. But if we're out of town, we're away from our home congregation, and it's time for church you know, Sunday morning or something, we need to try to find a congregation, a sound congregation to go to and to worship at. Or if nothing else, just go out under a tree with our family and have our own little worship service if we can't find a sound congregation. And, you know, and 
There's nothing wrong with doing things that we enjoy as long as we don't take time away from God to do it. And you know, one example, and I'm not trying to step on anybody's toes here in January, but one example of taking time away from God for things you like is a Super Bowl game, which always happens on Sunday. And all, just about all congregations you go to, if you look on Super Bowl Sunday, you're going to see some people missing. Now, I'm not judging anybody. I'm just stating a fact. Uh, you know, it's, it's not wrong to enjoy football. It's not wrong to enjoy anything as long as we don't take away from God's time in order to do it. I'm not, you know, I'm not putting anybody down. You know, and studying our Bible, that's one thing that it's a good idea and we need to study, but also we're commanded by God's word to study. In 2 Timothy 2.15, study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. If we don't study, we don't keep our studies up and read our Bible and try to learn all we can, well then how can we show ourselves approved to God? If we can't show ourselves approved to God, then no matter how much we sit in this church building, no matter how many things we attend, and we're just out of luck. We're not gonna have no hope of heaven if we can't prove to God that we love him and worship him. Said, on how many hours, how many hours do we spend in our day in the study of God's word? That most likely not as much as we should. I know that I'm guilty of it. I work all day, I come home, I'm tired. I lay down and take a nap. And I'll tell you right now, I need to study more. I'm guilty of it just as bad as anybody. And so we need to all take a look at how we spend our time and see if we can find more time for God. So we have a hymn that we sing sometimes that says, more of God, less of self. We should always put God first in our life. We put other people second and ourselves come last. We're the most unimportant ones, you know. We do for God first, we do for others, and then whatever's left over, we take for ourselves. And that's the way that it's meant to be. And, you know, it's just the way that I've read these statistics and I just got this idea of thinking about it and looked up a few things online and just, that's about all I've got about it. But, you know, if there's anyone here tonight that you feel like you've forsaken the assemblies and you shouldn't have, or you need, uh, if anybody here needs help to study, just come and talk to some of us. You know, anybody here, the elders, the preachers, anybody would be glad to help you. And if in any way tonight that you feel like you just need the prayers of the church, or if, or if you haven't dedicated your life to Christ yet, and you'd be, like to be baptized, give your life to Christ tonight, Anything you need, anybody we can help you, please come forward.